Welcome to a new episode of EV Exclusive, where we tour some incredible homes around the Lower Mainland. Today, we're in Railtown, a small area nestled between Gastown, Chinatown, and the bustling harbor. In this spot, you'll find some gorgeously restored heritage buildings like the Settlement Building, Postmark Brewery, a cool craft beer spot, and Belgard Kitchen. With so much history, it's no surprise that you'll find some amazing spots here like the one that I'm gonna show you today. a very unique loft building called The Edge located in Railtown. We have a two bedroom, two bathroom, two level loft listed for under 1.4, 1500 square feet, floor to ceiling windows listed by Glenn Felstein and Brittany White. This is the main living space which has a ton of natural light, very open, amazing walls for your art. The other unique thing about this space is that we have a balcony that runs the length of the loft, which is very hard to find in Gastown. Come and have a look. They've created this little nook area. We're south facing, it's covered, very creative. It's awesome. Let's go into the kitchen. This is the dining area if you want to have a more formal sit-down dinner. Very cool industrial kitchen, fully renovated, high-end appliances, gas range, some bar stools here, a wine fridge. I'm loving this vibe. We're in the upper level where we have the master bedroom, very private and secluded, separate from the downstairs. We have a flex space here being used as a home office, but it could also be a yoga space. Loving this catwalk here. You're looking down to the amazing living area and of course the iconic East Vancouver sign. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, or comment below and let us know what you love about this great space. Here I am with Glenn Felstein, one of the listing agents. Rare opportunity to actually have a one-on-one -on -one with him. Paparazzi's <laughs> out there. Super rare, super rare. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about the space? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's one of the larger lofts in the building. Um, my clients fully renovated it a couple of years ago for themselves. They, they did a great job. Um, some of the, I guess, more in-depth features would, would be the you know custom kitchen and high-end appliances. Um, the both en suites uh, have heated floors. And there's two bedrooms in here and they're both private bedrooms. So typically with lofts, if you do have two bedrooms, one will be sort of what we would call like a proper bedroom and the other would be the loft. Mm -hmm. So this way you've actually got two proper bedrooms, private, like I said, both with en suites. Um, I love that. Yeah, and that's super cool. I mean, just just better privacy. I mean, it, and, and it's unique for a loft to have that, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I find mm -hmm. most people will move from a one bedroom condo into a two bedroom condo or move from a one bedroom loft into a two bedroom condo. This way you can kind of still have all the the great features of a loft like the sure. like the ceiling height and i think that's what draws people Best to of this worlds, really. exactly right um other things they did uh you know speaking of ceiling height um the blinds are all automated as well mm -hmm. um even in the in the primary bedroom there you can be lying down in bed just exactly sleep. right these are you know <laughs> pulling that drawstring uh you know every morning and every night yeah um automated fans 
Yeah, those are on remote too. So I mean, and yeah, and everything, you know, most of the lights are on dimmers. Um, they just did, they, it was just a really well thought out renovation. Mm -hmm. Can right? you tell me a little bit more about the light fixtures in the shower? I heard they change colors. Yes, that's so. That based on temperature, the water? I don't, I don't know if it goes into that much <laughs> detail, but it definitely can be based on mood. Right. Okay. So it's a jetted tub and they definitely wanted, you know, have that sort of spa like feeling. So definitely you can set the mood in there, relax, put on a little Amazing. music and that can be uh, yeah, a little a little oasis. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about just the building in general? I hear there's some really great amenities. Yeah, the amenities are in for the edge are like no other. I've never I haven't seen anything in the city or heard of anything that would sort of be to this magnitude. Um, out the back of the building, so it would be out the north side of the building, mm -hmm. they have a 7,000 square foot amenity building, full wow. wood shop, metal shop. They've got a gym, which the wood and metal shop are quite a bit larger than the gym, mm -hmm. right? Um, they also have three soundproof studios, music studios. You've got, they've got a kiln, so you can, you Very know, cool. yeah, and pottery wheels and that sort of thing. And then they've got like a big printing room. They've got a dark room, which, you know, we're obviously in a digital world right yeah. now. But anyways, there's a, there's a lot there. And then there's, you know, a big sort of meeting room as well. So, I mean, that's super unique to this city in general. And, you know, whether you use it or not, I mean, it's something there. And I think, I think some people probably come here, move in, probably not thinking they use it, but then, you know, might start. You can get creative. Yeah, venture down there. Yeah. Maybe you want to make a coffee table and For do sure. something to you yeah. go down. You yeah. go down the wood shop and you and you fire away, right? It's great if you have the space. Why not use it? Yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And then, I mean, for sure, some people do use it. And it's a big, it'll be a big value add. It's yeah. not for everybody, but it is kind of a cool feature that's that's worth mentioning for for sure. That's great. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Glenn. No problem. <laughs>